it's really fun to do and like even if you don't get it you still end up feeling like yeah I did something. The Tech Challenge is a competition that gives you the opportunity to solve a real world problem focused on the young people because it's really the next generation that will carry us forward. This year's challenge is No Roads No Problem. Students are building hovercrafts to go over different terrains. It's really inspiring to see all these kids who have come here today um, practicing uh, the skills that engineers need as we think about the technology challenges of the future that's going to require lots of new technologists. You cannot expect to solve major problems if you're only solving for part of the population. You have to have all the voices at the table and if you don't have that you are likely missing out on the real solution. This is an amazing experience, you can learn from it. Like I learned stuff that I don't think I would even learn from school here. The grit and determination of some of these kids. These kids come from different backgrounds, very diverse backgrounds, and they come in and they showcase their skills and their determination. One of my favorite parts of the Tech Challenge was really um, learning each other's you know, strengths and weaknesses and how we can incorporate it while we are working together. By learning what they're learning here, they're going to have a better future, their families will have a better future, and most importantly, the community as a whole is going to benefit. They're learning how to work with other people. They're learning how to rebound from having a failure. They're learning how to think through critically hard problems, and they're learning how to document their ideas. First, my mom kept on making me coming back, but then after a while, I started learning that I actually like this engineering field, and I just really wanted to enjoy this with all of these guys. Everyone takes a different approach, and you see the youngest kids are not bound by physics, and the oldest kids are trying to stay inside boundaries that they've learned. You know, it broke and we kept going, and during the Tech Challenge we overcame issues and our hovercrafts didn't work, so I think perseverance is one of the things that I learned the most. We heard a story earlier about a team that they just failed miserably but they kept coming back and kept coming back and they finally succeeded. What we'll see is that you'll have teams that go through multiple prototypes and, uh, and struggle through some of those prototypes and hit these breakthrough innovation ideas and eventually be very successful in their product. The, the students are just so invigorated and so passionate about what they're doing, um, each and every one of them. It's not just something that they're checking off their list, it's something that they are truly engaged in. I like to build stuff and there's a lot of hands-on creativity so it gives children a chance to like follow their dream by doing the tech challenge. 